I often talk about the two most common financials of a nonprofit, the statement of financial position and the statement of activities. Well, that can get really confusing, really easy, and in some ways they sort of sound alike. So today I'm going to share a helpful way of remembering these two common reports. Hi, I'm Teresa Clark, and I'm a seasoned CPA with over 25 years of experience dedicated to serving 501c3 nonprofits. I have experience both internal to the organization as a CFO and as an external auditor of nonprofits. I bring a unique perspective to your financial journey, and so I hope you jump on and explore my website at TeresaClark.com. Okay, so nonprofits have two um, of their, their basic financial reports. In a for-profit, they're called a balance sheet and an income statement. In a nonprofit, they're called a statement of financial position and a statement of activities. Today, I'm gonna give you some helpful tips on how to remember these two reports. So the statement of financial position is like a comprehensive health checkup. So think about going to the doctor and getting a health checkup. Well, it's really a snapshot as of a point in time, a particular moment in time. And it gives you a detailed assessment of your current assets, what you own, your current liabilities, what you own, and then the net asset position. So your overall financial condition. So it's just similar to a doctor's evaluation of your vital signs and your physical health. So let's think of the statement of financial position. The position is as of a point in time. So that's how we're gonna remember the financial position. Next is the statement of activities. And it's really like tracking the daily activities and lifestyle choices that you're making as an individual to improve your health over time. So, you know, it would be the inflows and the outflows of financial resources in a nonprofit. So the statement of activities is the inflow and outflow of financial resources. And this is kind of uh, akin to monitoring your diet, your exercise, and the habits that are going to impact the resources that you've managed for your um, to, for, towards meeting your goals. So that statement of activities is the ins and outs, the day-to-day -day things that are happening in the nonprofit. All right. Well, I hope that helps you make a clear distinction between those two reports and will help you in the future. I hope you found this information valuable and insightful. If you're hungry for more resources, you can subscribe wherever you're watching this, or you can check out my free resources on my website, TeresaClark.com. Also, I'm here to support you. So if you have questions, you need clarification, or maybe you just want to discuss my services and how I can help your nonprofit, you can book a strategic consult on my website at TeresaClark.com. I wish you great success and impact in your nonprofit endeavors. Until next time.